During DNA replication, a DNA double helix must unwind and separate so that the DNA polymerase enzymes can use each single strand as a template for the synthesis of new double strands. Strand separation is catalyzed by a helicase enzyme. A number of helper proteins prevent the strands from coming back together before replication is complete. Partial separation of the double helix forms a replication fork. The primary enzymes responsible for DNA replication are DNA polymerases. Understanding activity and limitations of DNA polymerases help make sense of why DNA replication occurs the way it does. Key points are prokaryotic cells contain three different DNA polymerases. Each have slightly different activities. The two that are known to be required for DNA replication are DNA polymerase 3 and DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymerases need a template. They cannot synthesize a strand of DNA without it. DNA polymerases cannot create new polymers. They can only extend existing strands by adding new nucleotides to one end. For replication to begin, another enzyme, primase, which is a type of RNA polymerase, must create short priming sequences before DNA polymerases can begin their work. Unlike DNA polymerases, RNA polymerases can create new polymers by adding bases to a complementary strand in the absence of an existing polymer. These short RNA polymers are called primers. Once there is a short RNA primer, DNA polymerases can continue the elongation process. RNA primers need to be removed prior to the end of the replication process. DNA polymerase 1, which has exonucleus activity, performs this task. DNA polymerases can only add nucleotides to the 3' hydroxyl end of a nucleotide polymer. Since the two strands of the original DNA helix are oriented in opposite directions, double strand formation has to proceed in opposite directions on each of the two template strands at the replication fork. In one direction, DNA is replicated as a continuous strand. This is called the leading strand. Replication on the other strand occurs by the creation of many short segments. This is the lagging strand. On both the leading and the lagging strands, DNA replication starts with primase adding a short 3 to 10 base RNA primer to the template strand. Once the primer is added, DNA polymerase 3 elongates the strand by adding DNA nucleotides to the 3' hydroxy end of the growing polymer. The creation of a primer using primase and then elongation by DNA polymerase 3 is adequate to form long stretches of DNA on the leading strand. On the lagging strand, the new strand's 3' hydroxyl end points away from the replication fork. This forces the elongation process to occur in a discontinuous manner. As replication moves along the template strand, a series of shorter DNA polymers are formed. Each strand is initiated with its own RNA primer. The short lengths of double-stranded DNA formed along the lagging strand are called Okazaki fragments. When an Okazaki fragment extends to the point that it overlaps with the previous RNA primer, RNA nucleotides are removed and replaced by DNA. This requires DNA polymerase 1's exonucleus activity.